You may be excited about the warm-up that's headed our way for North Texas, but the damage is done for the folks extreming, surviving rather the extreme cold weather that we saw last week. As Olivia Leach is showing you, some have been living without water or heat for days. Now others are using a swimming pool just to flush their toilets. Tenants at apartment complexes across North Texas are still dealing with the aftermath of those frigid temperatures. Tenants at one complex we spoke to say they've been without heat or water for days now. Others forced to use this swimming pool just to get enough water to flush their toilets. I've been lost water since the um, before Christmas. It's every year we go through this with these apartments. Tenants at Sterling Shire Apartments in Dallas are fed up. Many say they've gone days without heat or water in their units. These are absolutely terrible conditions, and, and regardless of the circumstances, we hate to hear any citizen have to go without. Dallas Code Compliance has been on site investigating. They say the problems stem from frozen pipes that caused major leaks and outages. They say technicians are on site working to fix it, but residents say not enough is being done. The whole house is like cold, you know, and we can only put on so many pair of clothes to stay warm. Kimberly Hodge uses a motorized scooter to get around, but she says the elevators in her building have been out since Friday. The elevator is back on today, but she says she worried how she would manage in an emergency. It was devastating, like I'm on panic mode. 24 7 because most of the time I am home alone. And what if a fire break out? What am I supposed to do? The city delivered a truck full of water pallets for tenants. Even a private citizen pitched in to bring 70 pallets of water to these tenants. My boss man seen it online, so he said he's going to buy some water. He's doing what he can do. Code compliance says they'll be holding the property owner accountable until the problem is fixed. We reached out to the property owner, NRP Group, who told us, quote, our on-site management and maintenance teams have been diligently working to resolve the weather-related water issues as quickly as possible. All residents continue to have power, and our team is actively working to restore water for those impacted residents. Sterlingshire Apartments is not alone. At the Lake Colony Apartments in Garland, residents like Brittany Serrano haven't had water since Christmas Eve. When they turn the water back on, um, it starts flooding through the wall. Plumbers have been trying to locate and fix the leaks. Residents had to use the pool to fill up jugs just to flush their toilets. Oh, it's been difficult, but at least we have heat and electricity. I'm grateful for that. Olivia Leach, CBS 11 News.